back to my channel it's Shania I am finally back of course it's been a minute but I'm back I promise you guys I'm back I'm trying to upload at least every week if not twice a week honestly I've been planning everything out and I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna do it once a week at the least I've had a baby y'all you know the coronavirus hit so I've been gone for a minute but I'm back I promise you I'm back and honestly I'm super excited to do all of this content I have planned Make sure y'all comment below with any ideas, video ideas, or whatever you want to see on my channel. Make sure you comment below. And honestly, since I'm new to this mom life, I was actually debating uploading some like vlogs and some um, just, you know, some more personal videos. Just let me know if y'all interested in that. Because I kind of was thinking, okay, y'all really just want to see the braids. You might not be interested in all that, but let me know below. So what I'm doing today is some pop smoke braids on my little nephew. His birthday is actually today. He is getting the pop smoke braids and he did extremely good getting his hair done actually. He didn't cry until the end. Y'all know how babies are, they just wanna get up. But um, yeah, I'm using the Shea Moisture Kids line today and honestly, I would recommend everything but the braiding jam. I really, really didn't like it to be honest. That's what you see me putting on his hair when I'm parting. And really, it just felt like beeswax. It just felt like I was putting beeswax on his hair. It was getting really oily. So I actually started using shining jam to make sure it was slicked down. Because, you know, I'm doing his hair for his birthday. And I wanted it to look really nice. So I just started using shining jam after a while. But yeah, what y'all see me doing is parting his hair down the middle. I like to part down the middle because... I just feel like it helps me keep the left side equal with the right like it makes me it makes it easier for both sides to be exactly the same i always start by parting down the middle just so i can really see both sides and make sure they're both exactly the same and i also recommend parting from front to back because with the pop smoke braids you want it to be even in the back and in the front so yeah part it down the middle and then i split that side in half so that i can separate the front from the back and that's how I usually like to split it up before I start. Like I said, it just makes it really even. So yeah, what you see me doing now is splitting that section into two. And then I'm gonna get started braiding. And I'm gonna let you guys just watch me, you know. I'm not gonna sit here and talk the whole time. But I did wanna say, if y'all are interested in a super detailed stitch braid tutorial, make sure you check the description box below. I did launch an online course back in October. And it's super, super, super detailed. It's for y'all who don't really know how to do stitch braids. Or if you already know how to do it and you think you just need a little bit of help, that course will be great for you. It's definitely worth it.
Thank you.